Hello, I'm BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another video. Have you ever thought to yourself, I'd really like to embark upon a really terrible challenge in Minecraft? If the answer to that question is yes, then boy, do I have the video for you today, because we're going to be going through the worst super flats and worst super flat challenges you can currently do in Minecraft. Because they've recently removed a lot of the really fun challenges I had invented over time, and I figured since a lot of the good ones are removed, let's go make some bad ones, and then maybe they can be removed. So yeah, here are four awful challenges. Hopefully you will do enjoy the video. If you do like the awfulness, please do like the video and let me know, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like these sorts of videos. <laughs> coming over some of the worst stuff in Minecraft because yeah these terrible super flats are particularly bad so this first one is uh, what I like to call like melon monument challenge because it's got some uh, nice little alliteration there and basically what you want to have is just a single layer of melon have your biome set to ocean and then all you need to have is your ocean monuments turned on and turn them on like this amount so yeah everything else turned off and the thing we're going for here is a monument challenge as you can probably guess that involves melons so why are the melons there why are the monuments there and why is there nothing else so the idea of this challenge is that what you've got to try and do is you've got to try and take down the monument and the elder yarns within using only melons to your disposal. That's right, you find no wood, you find no tools, because all it is is a single layer of melon and then bedrock below that, as, as you probably might expect. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the reason this uh, you know challenge is so funny and the reason it's so weird is because ocean monuments, no matter how low the uh, you know world is, this is literally, you know, we're at Y equals 3 right now if you look on the map, uh, even though we're at Y equals 3 and, you know, really, really low down, the ocean monument still tries to generate at the same layer it would generate were it in a giant ocean. So, this means that if we actually turn on fly just to get there faster, because you get the point, uh, basically that means that if we actually do find a monument, it's going to look something like this, which is really, really cool if you ask me. It's amazing looking, but trying to get up there with this challenge is where things get really fun, except awful fun, because what you're going to try and do is, without any pickaxe or anything, break your way up there. There's no way to get up there. You have to break one block, then break another block, and make yourself a little staircase going all the way up one of these pillars, and then once you're up on the pillars, you can get yourself into the entrance. Then, again, using no tools, nothing with you, just the melons, which you should have, hopefully have a lot of, uh, you want to go uh, you know, within the thing, try and find the Elder Gardens, and kill all three of them because uh, we'll see very shortly that they'll give us the uh, the feed, feed, feed effect. And yeah, we've got to try and kill them. Uh, they have, I think it's 80 health, so we have to hit them 80 times, uh, which means you're going to need a lot of these melons to heal and heal and heal again. Uh, and also probably going to have to break a lot of stuff because here we are at the first Elder Guardian. Or we should be. There we go. So yeah, <laughs> you have to you have to protect yourself from all of his attacks, except his spikes will hurt you regardless. So you, just have to get, you have to just get behind cover, eat some melon, go back out, do this over and over again until you've hit him 80 separate times. Yep, I'm not even joking. 80 separate times you have to punch him. And then you have to do it for all three Mon uh, all three guardians on every monument in your world and then you can say you've completed the melon monument challenge you, you guys excited for this one you like this one <laughs> uh, yeah this is this is uh, the first of the awful challenges but uh, it gets worse than this because I'm gonna be going in uh, rough order of how off they are because the second challenge we have uh, wow that that's a lot of damage the second uh, no armor of course uh, the second challenge we're gonna have here involves us actually going to a different suit flat so I'll see you back at the menu so yeah let's uh, exit without saving and let's show you the next little challenge so the next challenge is actually going to involve having an entire world basically it's you know people who like the Miner's Paradise one. So there's a soup flat that's out there that allows you to go mining and is mostly made of stone. So, you know, the current Minecraft world is just 64 layers of stone. Uh, there's a soup flat there that can take it up to 128, which is pretty crazy. In fact, let me, let me show you that right now. Uh, if we go in there... Uh, wait, oh, we've got a tunnel super flat. Wait, wait, once we actually go in there, there's a preset for Tunnel's Dream, and it just adds a whole bunch of stone, 100 layers of stone. So what you want to do is you want to remove this other stuff, because, you know, that's no fun for mining. And if you want to make mining more difficult, because mining, you know, mining a pickaxe, uh, mi yeah, mining stone with a pickaxe is actually pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to edit the layer, and you want to make it all obsidian. So obsidian... If you don't know, it takes 250 seconds to mine with your fist, which is 4 minutes and 10 seconds. And it means that this is going to be a lot more fun for challenge, especially if you then make sure that you turn yourself into, you know, like ice flats or ocean, something where no tree is going to spawn, and you turn off all this stuff right here, and you just leave it to be the obsidian in world. And, you know, if you really want to, let's put on a stronghold, actually. So, a single stronghold. Now the challenge here is we go into this world, so uh, make sure we save lot save, turn on host privileges. Now the challenge with this world is really cool, because, again, the, obs the obsidian mining challenge, it's for people who like mining and want to do it a bit hardcore, you have to mine every single block by hand. There's no wood, no stone, no nothing like that to help you get a diamond pickaxe. And you have to mine down there and try and find the stronghold. So let's get a start then, shall we? Let's uh, let's start mining our first block. In about four minutes now, we'll uh, we'll have this one broken. And then we can decide which one to move on to next. The real challenge here is every single time you break a block, new blocks become available. So just to kind of speed this up, because I know I know you want to do this in the full. But you know, for now, for the video, as you can see, you got to like, just slowly break through. And every single one of these blocks takes four minutes and ten seconds. So let's say you need to break roughly a thousand to find the stronghold, which is way under you know target. You probably need to break somewhere in the region of tens of thousands. But let's just say one thousand blocks to uh, find the stronghold. That's going to take you about four thousand minutes. Which uh, if we convert that into hours, it's something like eighty hours. Which to me, I I I'd feel pretty accomplished if I managed to do all of that. And yeah, this entire world is just obsidian all over. It's uh, it's like trying to find the needle in the haystack, except the haystack of obsidian 
and the, the needle, you're not going to find the needle. There, there's no needle in the haystack. So yeah, I hope you do. <laughs> I hope this one is, uh, you know, like an, enough of a challenge for you because if it's not, then maybe the next one will be. So yeah, the second challenge, the obsidian mining challenge, uh, pretty crazy, pretty hardcore, but you might think you're not, there's not enough risk there involved. It's just it's just mining and tedious work. I want something that has a you know a high risk element to it. So yeah, the high risk element one is one that I I, I do understand a lot of people want. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go back to the same world. It, the the previous setting should still be there, right? So if we go to Suplat, uh, Sun and we'll save and uh, host bridges. Yeah, if we go to back to Suplat and we remove the obsidian and replace it instead with TNT. So this is actually a really fun world. It's one I'd recommend for a little bit of fun. But if you want to make it into a challenge, so we put some TNT everywhere. If you want to make this one into a challenge, have 99 layers of TNC, a single layer of bedrock. Make sure you've got something with villages so you actually can have a challenge. And now the idea behind this one, so turn on turn on everything you want to. You can have dungeons, decorations, lakes, lava lakes if you want to. Not that they even probably work together. And then, yeah, yeah we're going to go into this world right now. And I'm going to show you what this challenge is. Because this is the do not explode challenge. So um, if you if you want to do it in the nether, it's even more challenging. But the basic idea behind this challenge is, yeah, it's just a regular world. Except it's made entirely from TNT. So the real tip here is make sure that you get all lava entirely separate from your TNT. One bit detonates, everything's gone, and also it is the you know it's it's a challenge that's just pretty normal really. Like you can go mining pretty easily, so you know you want to find that stronghold you can. But the really cool thing about this is uh, when it comes to nighttime. So when nighttime comes around, as you might know, a lot of mobs will start spawning. So you're gonna start seeing zombies, you're gonna start seeing uh, skeletons, you're gonna start seeing endermen, etc., etc. At least somewhere around here you will. And the challenge behind this one is you can, it's to teach you not to be blown up by creepers because if you get blown up by a creeper once, just a single explosion will ignite the entire world. And let me let me show you what I mean there because nothing seems to be spawning because it hates me but yeah we, if we if we just have a single creeper spawn or a whole bunch of creepers but yeah if we just have a single creeper spawn behind us and then blow up so yeah once there's a creeper you have to make sure this thing doesn't blow up at all costs and yeah it's a good way to condition yourself because once once this blows up let's say we've been playing the world for like 100 hours everything is gone so you know we get too close to the creeper or it sneaks up behind us oh it blows up and oh it's, it's meant star chain reaction, but <laughs> oh, it blows up and it, it doesn't start chain reaction properly. But yeah, you get the basic point. If a creeper does blow up, you, you're going to start to cause problems because uh, big, big holes in the ground. And also, it's the don't be anywhere near a lava lake challenge because otherwise, if lava lakes spawn near the ground, <laughs> I think it's happened already, then that will start to happen. So yeah, avoid lava lakes, avoid being exploded challenge. That's what this one is right here. I didn't even realize until just now that apparently creepers don't blow up TNT. And yeah, if you're not careful, this this will start to happen. And you, you as you can probably imagine, it's not too great to have a... Uh, uh, a world of TNT which is, is blowing up bit by bit. So yeah, uh, this is the watch out for fire, watch out for creepers challenge. I think it's a good way to teach you to watch out for both those things and to really understand just how bad they truly are. So yeah, that is <laughs> that is the third awful soup flat here. But let's move on to the final one, shall we? So the final uh, awful soup flat idea is going to involve us going back out to the menu. And it's going to involve us removing everything because this is this is one for people that have looked at all these challenges and thought, you know, what? there's a lot of work involved. You know, whether it's that first one and breaking into the monument, whether it's the second one and having to mine an entire world, there's just no fun involved in that. I would have a really peaceful game, and this is the one for you. So remove this this layer right here. Remove it. Go go. Uh, you know, put your thing on ocean when or ice flats or ocean, whichever one you want. Just have you know when no no mobs will spawn, and then turn off every single thing else in the world. And then this is this is the perfect world for you. So this is called the relaxing challenge, and the entire idea of it is just to ha just to have a nice time, you know. Maybe maybe have a, st a conversation, maybe you know load, speak to someone in real life, you know, make make a meal for yourself while you're doing this. Because the idea of this challenge is just to watch the world go down. Because if you uh, actually do anything involving moving around it, then uh, you actually start taking damage. Because it's only bedrock, no mobs can spawn here, and because there's no layers of anything, nothing else can be here. But what you can do is you can start a nice walk, try and try and make it to the edge of the world. You can uh, you can look at the sun. You can watch it set. You can watch it rise. And really, this is this is the challenge for those of you that are like you know what? I failed my last 100 UHC runs because you you can't fail this challenge. Or I guess you can't succeed either. But anyway, <laughs> this is the final challenge for you. Uh, the bedrock challenge. Uh, nothing but bedrock and walking. And, and sunsets. I hope you did all enjoy today's uh, awful soup flats video, going over four of the worst soup flats in Minecraft. If you did like it, like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like uh, you know these very very bizarre soup flats. Uh, share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. In all seriousness, are any of these ones that you actually have any inspiration from? Because I thought it'd be interesting to like show off some weird challenges that you never would want to attempt. But you know, every now and then someone's like, ah, I'll use that for this. I'd, I'd like to know if that's actually you in the comments down below. And other than that, let me know what your favorite awful soup flat was uh, while you're down there. And other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.